What is going on, everybody? It's Andrew Kayser with CSSBoss.com, and we're going to reach into this little thing right here and pull out a card. Uh, setting up Google Analytics on WordPress. So I actually just found a plugin about four months ago that I love. It's called Google Analyticator, and let's um, let's go ahead and install this on a website. So we're going to come into say JustSave.com. this is okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to plugins and add new do I got grape jelly on my shirt that's why you don't work in the kitchen okay so we come down here and we type in Google Analyticator something like that aha I spelled it right so right here by video user manuals um, VideoUserManuals.com. I should check that out. Let's we'll look at that later. But we're gonna go ahead and install, install, activate the plugin, and then we're gonna log into our Google. No, that's not it. It's this one. And we're gonna come down to the correct thing of JustSave.com. So. We can come here, we can go admin, go to your admin thing, and then we get this property ID right here, UA, blah, blah, blah. So you're going to copy that, and you're going to come back over to the plugin, and we're going to go to settings underneath Google Analyticator, and you have two options. You can authenticate this to work with your Google account which is really cool and I highly suggest it or you can continue without the authentication and for the sake of the video well let's do let's do both we'll do this one first continue without authentication so we're gonna click this and it'll pop up this little thing and you wanna make sure to post paste your number in there and enable now go ahead and you know you can keep all this pretty much the same go through there and make sure that it is set up how you want it to. Okay, so you save it like that and then there you go. Now your website, when you go to it, in the bottom, you view page source, Google Analytics should be in here somewhere. Google Analytics, hey, look at that. There you go. Google Analytics tracking by Google Analyticator. Boom. There you go. Not sure why it's in the head, but oh, that's whatever. So, okay, that's working. Now let's go back to, let's see. Let's go back and set up the authorization with the Google account. Now what this will do is enter your Google authentication code in this box. Um save and continue so we're gonna click here pop-ups gonna come up and we're gonna sign in with our account we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with my AFKzer you're gonna click allow access please copy this code copied now switch to your application and paste it there so we're gonna come right in here and paste there we're gonna click save and continue and then we're going to enable it and then we're going to select from our list just save and that is how it's going to work so we're going to come down here and we will save changes again and well I guess I didn't click it save save changes there you go settings are saved now when you go to the dashboard since you authenticated it we get this little boom analytics summary right here on your dashboard now you'll see from my videos that I have put this right up here so every time I log in I see exactly what I'm you know getting traffic for and all that good stuff so let's uh, 
that's about it. So once you've got that running and you've got everything set up, you know, it's just a matter of tracking your analytics. So make sure to hit us up if you have any other questions with Google Analytics, uh, other plugins, any WordPress problems, any language problems, anything at all. Subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for checking us out. Andrew Kayser with CSSBoss.com. Peace out.